Hey everyone. Um, Jordan normally introduces these, but we're switching things up tonight because we're wild and crazy like that, right, Jordan? Woo! Yeah. Yes. Woo. Ab ab absolutely. Uh, weather at the ten coming up on one hundred five point nine. My cat kook in the racist badger in the morning. That's it. Uh, what's up, um, man? What's going on? I I, I I don't know. It looks like it looks like we're gonna take a look at and pick through. Doctor Who season eleven episode nine. It takes you away. Directed by Jamie Childs, and I'm not sure if this is Ed Hime or Haim. Maybe maybe I've been watching too much Animu, and I don't know how to pronounce English names anymore. You know, I think I'd be, I'd take the safe bet and go with Haim on this one. Mm -hmm. All maybe? right. I don't know. Po po poss possibly. Uh, if you've never seen this before, well, this is this is kind of like a Patreon thing, so you sh you should have probably heard about it. This is where we talk about. Doctor Who episodes. It's Game of Who. That's the name of the show. Anyways, I, I I know that. that how, how's that for an intro? At least we didn't steal it from our fans. Um, um, yeah. Uh, right. Um. All right. So let's let's get started. It turns out um we uh, we open up in a Beatles song. Was that Beatles? Yeah, Nor Norwegian Wood. Uh, I don't know. I knew two Beatles songs, and I've forgotten one of them. Seems legit. But it, I, I, I love that one, Painted Black. Yeah, great. My favorite dun, people's dun, song. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, what's Gecko's doing here? Uh, we're back. Uh, okay. Two weeks in a row, we're back in the forest though, right? Right, but we're it's 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 a different forest in a different time period. Um, 2018. We, we, right, apparently the Doctor... Th this has been an issue previously, but apparently the Doctor can just wave her sonic screwdriver around and be like, oh, it is your... this... So that's the thing. Appar appar apparently, um, she can. The re reason she can tell those because um, there there is a drastic change in the relationship between men and sheep. Um, Dude, the sheep human relationship it ended in a bloodbath. Right, but every, everyone's looking at uh, lo looking at the wilderness. They're all pining for the fjords. The doctor calls one out. Um, and I, I, fuck, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, eat dirt. You did. And I, th line this, this was, in, this was in response to a line someone said. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, yeah, eat dirt. Um, I want to eat something. I, th <laughs> I thought, I thought I'd remember it by now, but I don't. Um, while you're going over this dirt eating man, uh, not Rory. What's his name? I'm going to remember it. Um, Ryan, 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 Ryan Sinclair. He's not pining for the Fords, man. He's looking over through the woods, over the hills. And he's like, Hey man. There's a cabin, and I'm like, dude, first rule of the whole club. First rule, there's no such thing as a nice little house. Run. Listen, man, there, there's a light <laughs> over at the Fjordenstein place. And, and dude, they walk and, like right up to it, and I just like told you. No, no, and, and, and they got the they, they got the creepy swing, and then the window, like the little the little view slot with the creepy hands. Yeah, no, this, right. is, this is gonna end well. What is this 103 Nope Lane here in Norway? Um, no, right. uh -uh. f that, dude. Uh. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah, but but but, but uh, old doctors all like you know we should just break in and see if everything's all right. Well, before that, like through the boards and shit. Like, oh, did you see that? There's someone in there, and that should directly equal to any sane person. I know this is Doctor Who, kids. That's just straight up. F that. I'm out of here. Credits roll. Um. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Right. <laughs> Next week on Doctor Who. <laughs> so sure, it's like fucking micro episodes. But that's what we nope. need to do. No, oh man, we could totally do that for every episode. Doctor Who abridged for this series, like right up to that one point, and be like, you know, if they just like, like, no, mm -mm, back to the TARDIS credits. All right. Well, apparent. Well, the, the house is uh, furnished kind of oddly. I actually like the house. It, it has a nice little architecture thing. I like, I'm with you. I like the I like the triangle motif because it's like uh, etched in the walls and there's it's. In it the it had to grow on me, and I mean by it had to grow on me, it probably took. What fifteen minutes till it had a, the second establishing shot of the front two doors and the triangles yes. for the windows? Like, yeah, I, I rather like that. Yeah, I, I, I like this little house. It's a nice little bit of architecture. Uh, but apparently, there, there's some concern about shoes. Then, man, there are a lot of shoes in this episode, man. Because um, Ryan, who was it? Was it Ryan or not, Grandpa? Pointed out. Oh no, it was Yaz. Yaz, like yeah, kid lives yeah. here, and I was like, how do you know Yaz? Yeah, it's like there's children's shoes, and you know, yeah, and and, and Graham's all like, "What a child in the house, or some maniac who collects kids' shoes, or whatever." Well, why can't you be a regular person in 2018, just a regular, regular run of the mill human being that collects kids' shoes? I mean, uh, I mean, look, look at look, look at Steve Husband. That's that, kind of his job. That's perfectly um, normal. I wouldn't think twice if I'm lying through right. my teeth if I walked into somebody's house and I know that they have a kid. I'm like, 
Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, first uh, rule of Hoo Club. Nope. Credits. Bingos. Maybe, back maybe, to maybe they're into uh, foot binding. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, we 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 got to split the party. Figure out figure out what's going on. Let's get ourselves killed. Mm-hmm. And we go we go upstairs. And there's a little bit of ruckus. Who's in the closet? Could it be R. Kelly? Is it Mr. John Travolta? Mr. Cruz. Is it Tom Cruise. Mr. Cruz, come out of the closet. Uh, no, man. It's uh, she. I, all Hannah. right. Did Did you think it was a regular little kid at first? Because she was hooded up and had the sunglasses on. I was like, "What's going well, on?" Well, I'm, I'm, I'm like, she she straight up looks like a coke fiend when, when we first are introduced to her, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah she's got the, yeah she's got the sunglasses on. She's like, no, I'm too fucking hungover for this shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> she just staggers out <laughs> and deep I'm, I'm, I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, seriously, my first, my first reaction was like, mm, cool shades, all right. Yeah. Right on, right on. Oh, before uh, they even went upstairs, man, before they go on this adventure, not Grandpa Reese's in a jacket. He doesn't pull out a Sonic. No, well, th- no, this was this was after they after they confront uh, Hannah, the little girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's he's like, yeah, I, 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 I keep bringing pickle sandwiches because cheese and pickle sandwiches because my blood sugar is low. Listen, I, what I want to know is where the fuck do you get the sandwiches from? <clears throat> like. You think you think the doctor would stock this shit so she'd know if it was missing? It's but... The golden rule of the TARDIS. I mean, he he's got a plan down. I guess after being stuck all the time. I mean, dude's got a much. He could be diabetic. Needs his blood sugar raised. And you know, yep. pickle blood. Sugar. I don't know. That's probably a lie. Um, no, 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 that's bread sugar. Whatever. Kid in the cupboard. That's blind. But what about this kid, man? I mean, this is the first, we've seen space aliens. We've seen um, non-British controlled. India, well, technically, kind of. Everyone has a British accent, oh. English accent, except yeah. for our Norwegian girl Hannah. I don't know. I know some people from Norway, and they don't have an accent like that at all. Maybe, maybe you just got to go out in the sticks to find people with. I'm, I'm sure. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. People from Norway, fucking send me some hate mail with some wave files of your voice. Hundred percent. Hundred percent positive, man. That this was a actor they got from BBC casting, and they said, "Here, go watch an episode of Vikings." Or go, go go watch some Lily Hammer. No. Oh, hey, how you doing? No, wrong character. Try again. Go rewatch it. Um, yeah. Um, I guess maybe yeah. maybe Norway just doesn't have a north. But it, maybe maybe. maybe. Um, no, I, I mean Norway's pretty north, but uh, anyhow. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, we we get, we get introduced to this uh, little girl who's going to be one of the characters this episode, Hannah, um, and. They start. They start bonding. Apparently, her her daddy's gone missing. Um, Yaz Yaz attempts to bond with her over some mediocre rock, and we we learn we learn that daddy left for a pack of cigarettes and you know never came back. He pieced out. Also, 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 there are monsters. Well, they come mostly come at night. We're not dealing mostly. with regular monsters. We're dealing with punctual monsters, and those are infinitely more frightening than your regular run of the mill monsters. Right, but I mean, it's it's a clue. It's it's a bit of information that gets expanded on a little bit later. It's a monster uh, that comes at night. They mostly come at night. Oh, mostly. mostly. Oh. Um. Mm. But yeah, it's it's your favorite time of the episode, Ben. It is. Yay! Uh, as we've established, it is now time for the Doctor to go separate the team and give them orders. You go here and you go here. I think uh, Yaz and not Rory head off to the cabin of happiness. Yes, and everyone else goes to the shed. We 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 get a, we get a little conversation about like monsters there 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 are far there are far worse things than people out there i'm like no nope, spoiler alert the worst things are just, are just people it's always people man sometimes but they, but, but they go to the shed and uh ryan ryan forgets to duck <laughs> well okay well he, he flips out and i don't know first you, you saw the ducks in a row oh yep. you did well yeah well, i mean i mean daddy keeps his ducks in a row <laughs> but the, what really is like what do you need with all these bear traps which we later find out and i'm like of course that's what you use bear traps of course for. they live they live in rural norway right? what, what? <laughs> this this is an inter- well but but i but i mean like yeah they're all jumping to these worst conclusions i was like <laughs> no there's 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 reasonable explanations for all of this yeah, maybe yeah y- 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 y'all are just looking to pin something on someone and I, and I, and I, I we we talked about it in a little bit of the pre-show we'll talk about it a bit later there's some really that, that that sort of antagonist element doesn't really exist in this episode but anyways mm-hmm. um back upstairs to the mirror yes the mirror uh where i, I think this at, at this point it, I, I saw your note it's like oh yeah so you like the architecture too i'm not i'm not the yeah. only one i thought i thought it was a nice little house um but you know there yeah you're right there there is uh there is a mirror um you know wall. you know kind a little a little bit like that one movie the mirror in the one movie amelia pond was in oh uh, the movie? oh Jum- you mean uh J- J- jumanji yeah. Like, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that one. 
Yeah, that one. Uh, we, 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 we get a little bit of exchange. Like, uh, I, I, Gr- Graham and I are like, I think we'd know if we were vampires, but not if you're secret vampires. Oh, what if they were uh, Simpsons reverse vampires? Right. Where, yeah. Where they're invisible, but you can see the reflection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for the really bad vampires, man. They failed vampire school. They're just like, man. <laughs> you couldn't even get that shit right, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Not even allergic to garlic. This sucks. Um, uh, no, they, they have a little chat about that. And we, we have established. Of course, we know that's not a case. And it was like, wait, or, or uh, vampires are, in fact, space vampires are canon. Yes, and, this, yeah. this, this is true. Vampires exist in some capacity in Doctor Who. This is true. Uh, I, I, actually, and the and the weevils too. Those they 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 mentioned in Torchwood. Those were a foundation of vampire myths. Really, I think I remember that being said. I remember that mm. was a thing. Right. Um, it seems it, 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 it was something in Torchwood. Like, yeah, these are the foundations for your vampires. I, I just um, know there's somebody in Norway. Is like oh. mirrors in Norway don't cast reflections. We can't afford them. Yeah, Nor- Norwegians just absorb light. They don't reflect it <laughs> right. at all. Right, it, it's, it's a scarce resource. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, with that midnight sun. Those are my photons. Smash the mirror. Yeah, jeez. Like, ah. yeah. All right, but we, 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 we get a little bit of a look through the mirror. And uh, yeah, apparently it leads to the chaos warp from Warhammer 40k, right? Uh, that kind of caught me off guard because the doctor's like, oh, this could be dangerous. What is it? I don't know. Let me put my brains through the hole. And it's like, when is a mirror? Not a mirror. It's like, oh, well, when it's a two-way, if you've ever been in that room, hi. Or, um, I don't know, when a mirror's filled with hell because it's a fire escape. Yeah. <laughs> the, the doctor's having a bit of a hard time explaining it to them. Apparently she's got some hashtag head wonk. Head wonk. And there, 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 is, there is a great line in this episode, though, where Graham like shows up with Ryan and they're like, what is it? Is it safe? And the doctor's like, of course it's not safe. It's a jittering dimensional portal in a Norwegian bedroom. <laughs> Hot. I I was just like, yes, that was that was that was, that was great. Of course, it's not like, I was like, do do you have a, a clue? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they get that much much like Alice. Uh, they got to go through the Looking Glass, and yeah, uh, they, they leave uh, they, well, they leave Ryan they, behind with Hannah, who's just, uh, I think she's a little racist. Dude, I don't know. I, she's I didn't bl- get that she's, vibe. She's blind. She's, so, she's blind. She's, didn't want to deal with the dude, and uh, he didn't. Not Rory didn't really want to deal with her either. But yes, before but the do- before the doctor pieces out with the eyes, and uh, what's mm-hmm. not Grant? Did, did not Grandpa go to? Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, he, yeah. He he, he goes to. Yeah. She wrote a map on the wall, which ah. we only get in focus at the end of. And we're not going to yep. spoil that in the spoilers until we get to the spoiling at the end. Um, of, of of the spoils, yes. We're in a cave. But- Yes, I mean it's it's Plato's allegory of the cave. I don't know. Um, it, it but it, it it it's not another world. Apparently, they're still in Norway, according to the sonic screwdriver. It it's just uh, it's space Norway, man. It's just like regular Norway, but there's more string. Right, and so the, the doc the doctor takes a play out of the the old Perseus playbook and decides to leave a little string trail, and you know that's ne- that never works. Ever everyone in fiction tries that, and it never works. Listen, there have been multiple you, you, little, band. The, the, you're going to end like, up in a no, witch's stove, and like a wolf's going to blow you. And right, right. like I, I learned this recently. Um, but like the uh, the the maze solving algorithm of just like keep your right hand on the right wall, and mm-hmm. then just you will you will not get lost. Uh, I've used that in video games when I've gotten lost in mazes. Yeah, it, like it, that's it's legit, hundred percent, man. Yeah, it, it 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 is it is a straight up maze solving algorithm. You you can just straight up do that. Um, but, all right, roll d twenty on this because we're back in the maze. And guess what? Dude, they right. encountered a traveler. Uh, you have encountered a traveler, and he wants to trade. Well, I, I I mean I mean he 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 does. The doctor the doctor's like, listen, have you seen like a Norwegian human? Because like motherfucker knows what a Norwegian is, right? Oh, um, yeah, you no horns and uh, two, yeah, only he's, two he's, eyes, right? They got the Viking horns again. They don't reflect light at all, so they're just, <laughs> they just appear pitch black. No, um, yeah, he 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 wants to trade. He wants he wants he wants the tubular dude. It's totally tubular. Uh, yeah. Apparently, Freddy Krueger. Krueger. Yes, he's he's Nor- scary, scary, scary Terry. I would right? like to introduce you to the Norwegian Freddy Krueger. Um, totally Kr- not a wholly Freddy owned pro- property of Hollywood and Paramount. No, whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Miniature swords for fingers instead of knives. <laughs> hey man, he wants to trade for the Sonic. He sees that Sonic dude, and he got a clue. He's like, mm, "Hi." Uh, yeah, and she's like, and Doctor's like, "Okay, you can have it, but you got a payment on delivery, and you got to leave the knife." And I'm like, "Sweetie, sweetie, that's not his only knife." 
Oh. Ronan Dex Ronan Dex taught me that one. Always bring at least two knives. I, I was not giving I was not I'm glad you did, man. I did not give the show enough credit. I was like, probably this is gonna resolve itself in the, which we're gonna get to that in a minute. But did mm. you get a dose of his speech pattern, man? Because it took like his second little bit of a trading dialogue and it's like, motherfucker, you you you're doing Zathras. A, a, a little bit. I, I can see that. Heavily influenced. You're not going to tell me that actor had not seen some Babylon 5. Maybe. I, did, I didn't draw that conclusion right away. You're a big Zathras fan, though, so that might be that might be you. Mm, I, I, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's a personal hey, issue. Uh, Zathras is Babylon 5 OTP. Yeah. All, all, all the Zathrases together, because there's more than one. Um, but we, uh, we, we, we flash back. Apparently... Apparently, there's further disagreement between uh, Hannah and Ryan. Apparently, she doesn't like that he lied to her initially. Um, and then, in and in, uh, being confronted with this information, he decides to just lock her in a room because that's a that's her rational idea. Well, he, he grabs her by the wrist, and I was like, "Whoa, stranger danger!" Straight up, right? Like, boom, shut the door, lock. If you just took that out of context, man, you would think you were watching something completely different. Right, but we got we got to learn about the Mister Mister Creepy's bal magic balloons. They provide all the the only light in the it was cave. Me. I collected all the shoes. Oh yeah, he does have a balloon, doesn't he? Um, yeah, yeah, man. We're, uh, we're going on the uh, adventure time, but yeah, that balloons is out of place. Plus, it floated. Light balloon. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. They all float down there. I'm rolling, Norway. rolling with it, man. I'm rolling with it. It's Doctor Who, whatever. Uh, so. What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, fl fl flesh moth. moth. Uh, yeah, lands on the balloon. The balloon, and not a gold piece. It's a floating, glowing balloon. Seriously, we're yeah. not making this up. No, it's it's, it's straight up, <laughs> it's a straight up fucking helium balloon. If, if this motherfucker, it. yeah, it was like Stephen, uh, uh, yeah, kind of it vibe going from the balloon. A lot less sexy though. Right, um, right. But you know, you know, it's it's funny that we brought up like reverse vampires because these are like straight up reverse moths where they eat the flesh and then they leave your clothes. To be the I love how he gets away with it though, man. He's like, oh no, it's flashlight. Uh, Fleshlight, yes, flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Flying fleshlights in a cave. Oh no! Fleshlight is sticks for reasons we're not going to say. It's why too it dry. No one cleaned it out. Flesh moth lands on the balloon and he like whips out a rat and he's like, ah, oh, we got to distract it. Throw the rat carcass on the ground and it's like flies over there. And, it, and I was like, okay, this is the thing. Okay, flesh moth, a new toy now available at shop.bbc.co.uk. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I mean they, they, they look like straight up moths, right? It's just a big ass moth. But, but, yeah. but, you know, you know, go, going back to adventures in child abuse, Ryan has since locked Hannah in her room mm -hmm. and is going around the, t taking a look around the building. And he finds some wires leading to just a reg some regular ass home speakers that are like wood. Clearly I'm not supposed. outdoor speakers, not buying I'm the reality here, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was literally what I would just like, man, homeboy needs some outdoor speakers or something. These would not last right. a day in the fucking Norwegian Netherlands. Those, those did not have Alexa. No way. <laughs> no way. Um, yeah, but uh, he, he rips the cords out of the speaker, mm -hmm. goes back, and um, and uh, Hannah gives him the old uh, Grand Theft Auto. Clocks slams him with the door. <laughs> yeah, slams his head in the door. He, I've he, done he, that before. It's not fun. Dude has a glass head because he goes out like a light. Like I said, I've done that before. It's not fun. Wow. Uh, but uh, we, 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 we get a little thing where... Um, Did you where do we, it to we, yourself we, or was it a... Uh, yeah. well, hang, hang on. Were you outside uh, looking for speakers? <laughs> Shh. Right. Listen, listen, I was running through a cave in Norway. The whole thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Fine. Um, but we, 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 we go back to Mr. Creepyface. He chops up the string and then he tries to, he tries to betray them. But first we find out where we are. Oh, we, we're in the anti-zone, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not the negative zone or, or the, the random zone? zone. No, it's, it's, it's the different, it's different. It's totally different. Wholly you guys. unique, uh, <laughs> property owned by the BBC, the anti-zone. Anti-zone. Yes. Right. Oh man, dude. Yeah. He's like, run. But doctor <laughs> says, nay, you're trying no, no. to no, she 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 watched Jurassic Park. She knows that their vision is based on movement. <laughs> right, clearly. I I I'm just like you know, uh, Stegosaurus, T Rex, flesh moth. <laughs> right. It's right there, Cle man. Right? Cle clever girl. Right at the top of the CT um, boundary. Right. KT. Yeah, the KT, ex KT the KT extinction. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a CT boundary in the anti zone. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we do learn that our pal was uh, was always here, apparently. So where he got all these balloons 
We're, we're not we're not gonna tell you. She's like, Where are you from? And he's like, I was born. <laughs> right yeah. uh that happened totally fucking then he got then he got nommed oh yeah oh yeah um so they, they they go they go to the mirror and then apparently they're in a different they're in a different room in the same house because apparently if you want to get to that room you have to go through the hellscape portal mirror instead of just like going around the hallway that that that's the thing um mm-hmm. but um and then the guy who got eaten was named Ribbons. Was his name Ribbons? His Ribbons? name was Ribbons because that's why I put that in there on line 63 was Ribbons got mm-hmm. torn to Ah, let's see what you did there, show. Fuck you. Yeah, uh, ha 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 ha. Mm-hmm. Very funny. Right. Yep. But uh on, on on we 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 do get a we do get a brief little thing as Hannah decides that she wants to go through the mirror as well. She's been written a bit too I much didn't know what's going on at this part, man. I really don't. I was like, oh shit, man. It, it's Hannah. Hannah's up to some shit right now. Well, like she has some sort of ill established connection to the thing. This is what she I can, couldn't like, figure sense out because it. this was paced very well by the show. She's like, boom, let's clock, not Rory, boom, cut to I mean, the way it was the cinematography on it, grab key, yep. and she's like Shoo. Shooting yep. through the mirror, and I was like, uh-oh, burn, dun, dun. She's about to go, like, ninjutsu up on some people, but nay. Yep, she she finds the Doctor String, and she goes through. Um, but we're, 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 on, we're in the Mirror Mirror universe now. We can tell because his Slayer shirt, that dude's Slayer shirt, is backwards. Ah, uh, really? Did they have to point that out in the order? Yeah. It's like, I didn't get it. Nope. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um, but, so, appa- apparently, apparently, we, we find out that uh, Hannah's dad has not gone myth- missing. He has gone through the magic mirror into fucking Wonderland, uh-huh. where his wife is still alive, even though she knows she's dead. So something's right. something fucking right. happening. Okay, the way that bomb got dropped, though, the doctor's like, "Yo, what's up?" And he's like, "Yeah, uh, I put some speakers outside, and you know, to scare the kid, keep her inside. Left her with some food. Fuck it, I came over here. He, he hadn't gave just negative fucks about it. And the doctor's this like, "What the hell?" And he's like, "Oh, but there was a reason. Look, it's." My mirror universe wife and I is like bullshit show. She does not have a goatee. <laughs> right. I, I I don't know. Maybe she waxed it this morning. Who knows? Ow. Uh, I, I don't. I, it, hey, it can't be worse than having your neck beard waxed. Patreon rule. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I saw that video. I'm not putting myself through that. <laughs> I've seen that man's eyes. I, I've seen a man die, motherfucker. In. <laughs> But, but it, uh, it wasn't uh, uh, okay. Here's the thing: the dude's explaining, because yeah. the doctor just straight up goes, "Yo, you left your kid and all that," and he was like, "Yeah, I came over here. My wife, uh, mirror wife's over here." She's like, "You're horrible," and I'm like, "You know, all right, this is a horrible thing to say." I was like, "Kind of at his priority straight." He's like, "You can make another kid, right?" Yeah, well, I, I don't know. That, that, that's one way of looking at it. I don't know. I'm a horrible person. I, Maybe the bears will raise. No, 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 Yeah. See, I was pointlessly holding out for like, come on, Mirror Missy. I know it's not going to be Mirror Missy, but I want Mirror Missy. Mirror Missy. I was hoping for. Okay, I, I kind of had, I kind of had my little pinky fingers crossed. It's like, give me Mirror Doctor. Yeah, or or fucking Mirror Rassilon or something. It's like, I'm here too now. Why not? Why not? Right. Um, no. Uh, but we. Uh, uh, but yeah, you you, br- you brought up a good question. I was thinking it too. It was like, why why not bring Hannah over if this is like the paradise world, right? I know this guy. Well, I mean, they kind of make it like way way visually not visually clear, just very clear to you at home. Like this, this dude's like suffered some trauma, and on top of that, he wasn't the brightest cat to begin with. But no. yeah, I was like, how come Dumble Dad here didn't just like, okay, through the magic mirror, fuck the old place? Yeah, I, I, I mean, my, my, my theory was like, maybe he wants to spare a trip through fucking Pennywise land. I Listen, don't know. for all we know, Hannah is definitely afraid of goatees. This maybe, until she grows the goatee. Um, but uh, our dummy brigade doesn't know about flesh moths. Mm-mm. Oh, wait. What, yeah, uh, we, 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 uh, we, find, we finally get a little scene with Ryan and uh, Hannah in the cave. Yeah. Um, Brian finally comes clean. I'm sorry I lied to you. Blah blah blah. You know what? Maybe your maybe maybe your dad should have like paid for some Wi-Fi instead of gaslighting his daughter. Who knows? I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, not Rory and Hannah are walking through the cave, and she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I clocked your bitch ass with a door." Wink, smile. <laughs> it's like so cute. I'll do it. I'll do it again. 
I want to eat your liver. Right. Right. Um, (laughs) She's already established dominance, so this is... Just pissed on him. Like, there you go. All right. Yeah. Let's let's roll. Yep. Uh, yep. But our but our dummy brigade doesn't know about the flesh moths and oh my god, drama. But we 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 have to have a heartfelt moment, a conversation between Ghost Nana and Grandpa and Graham. That happened, didn't we? Man, they they talked about it and like, oh, what's going on? Is it you? And she's like, I love frogs. He's like, oh my god, it's you. The one thing you could have said or something like that. But 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 hey, man, the audience. As the audience, I knew I hit pause. And I wouldn't check the time clock. Oh, it's just the beginning of the third act, right? Because we, we got uh, not Grandpa's speech, and we got to we got to fix all the things now. Yep, yep. I put, I put them there because Grandma likes frogs. Grandma has the Hosfer Strider. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's got but, a Lutris T-shirt. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, that's that's what that's what. Um, well, we'll we'll talk about that puppet later, but Lutris right. needs to change their mascot to that. Um, <laughs> right. But we find, but the, the the doctor finally figures out what's going on. Apparently, anti zones only pop up when you need to separate things from the universe, because that that's thing. And she remembers a bedtime story slash scientific theory slash myth slash scientific fact that she all of a sudden recalls that solid tracks things that ex- a, a consciousness that existed at the beginning of time that then later got kicked out of the universe. Uh huh. Could be the only thing that this could possibly be. And it therefore... was a bedtime story. It was the thing that wanted to be part of the universe, but couldn't be. And it had its own space and it kept moving around. And grandmother was her fifth grandmother? Seventh grandma. Seventh grandma, which, all right, that's a or, bag no, no, sorry, of... it was, Yeah, and, and yeah, gra- gra- it, was gra- it was grand five or grand seven. I don't remember which. Five or seven. But, but it was a bedtime story. And she's like, oh, your grandmother told you that story. And she's like, oh, only when I had trouble sleeping. And I was like, wait a minute. Didn't the doctor say like he was... Is it like grandmother or whatever was half human or some shit? I don't know. It was in I the... Know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's, better, it's better than the master who never slept. Oh, man. Ooh. Anyway, but uh, yeah, the... Uh, what is it? Solid, solid tract. It's the solid it, it, tract. It's a conscient, it, conscious universe because... It, that, it, fr- it, is, it is nuclear chicken pox. Nuclear chicken pox. It. That is verbatim. 100%. And I'm sitting here going, bitch. How is this not a bubble universe? Like in that one time, you know, with the bubble and the universe and the doctor's wife. And she's like, yeah. oh, it's conscious. And it was like, oh, why not? Fine. I'm rolling with this. Whatever. No, but but beyond that, it's a tarp. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's 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 a psychic mirror, mirror, gilded cage universe. Because they apparently the writing staff watched a ton of the original Star Trek. And like, I got a perfectly original science fiction story about a mirror universe and a gilded cage. All right. Fine. Uh <laughs> But, uh, but, but, but yeah, um, the, it looks like the, the mirror gateway through hell through the anti-zone is one way, what, but Yaz, it? Yaz comes up with an ingenious idea. Well, it kind of happened real quick. The doctor's like, none of this is real. You know, that's not your wife. That's also not your wife. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. We're out. Yeah. Uh, mirrors broke. It's smart. It's figured out how to desonic me, man. It has. You ever been but, desonic? Doesn't feel good. Once, once or twice. No way around. Um, but, Impossible. But, but again, again, confirming my suspicion that someone wrote this episode after getting really, really high and watching Star Trek, they figure out how to get out by get this reversing the polarity. You're lying to the people. There's no way, no way they actually said that in Doctor Who. No. They've they've said it a couple times. Uh-uh. <laughs> but yeah, Can't she's hear like, you, man. Do- Do- Doctor's no. all like, you're speaking my language. It's sci-fi techno babble, man. <sighs> I would have been like, what, what What did you say? What? Okay, what, try that again. What did you say? Um, but <laughs> I, I, I like that Futurama did it where he's just like, yeah, I'm done reeking foobling the what's <laughs> it's. It um, kind of worked. Then, uh, okay. So the two dead wives are being, they're avatars of uh, the solo track, right? Yeah, they, they, uh, a, a pair, uh, they've been made up by the soul tract we don't know why though but before before anything hannah runs through the mirror mm-hmm. apparently ryan has stayed behind as a disnaction i guess man because, he uh, stays back there i thought he was gonna become a scooby snack it was like oh is he not coming back next series right right like he, sh- he should have died given the stakes that this the show established um but apparently apparently uh apparently hannah has some uh daredevil stints because she's like you're, 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 you're not my mommy. She knew yeah, right yeah. off the bat, man. She was not messing around. She's like, you're not my mom. Get out of here. Yeah. And I was like, how uh, do you but, know that? Maybe is it the goatee? Goatee, give it away. 
Yeah. Spooky fish. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, but we 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 learn after after figuring out after the doctor analyzes the thing's motives, all the solid track ever really wanted was was some love. It just wanted some company. He wanted a big froggy so alone. hug. But, but it's, like, it's like anti. Shits. It's dude. It's antimatter, right? Like it, it, it blows it, up. It's breaking yeah. down. It, it could handle like lonely dad man. And you know, it just wanted some lonely dad dick or whatever, however this thing works. And but that's just one. But when it had all five on that side of the mirror, it was like, oh, it's going to destabilize. And that was just going to like curb check everything, right? Again, right. I, I, I again, like one, one, <laughs> there, there, I, I put down everything. I was like, you ain't my real mama. It's not, <laughs> it's not a thing. Uh, I, oh, right. Yeah. When, when, once, once, um, Hannah went through the mirror and Ryan got trapped, I'm like, man, is this where you find out that Frank is the newest companion or something? Oh, no. Gonna... No. Yeah. Anyway, the Soul Track's not having it, so you get like a uh, uh, Kamehameha Yaz like back through the mirror. It's like, Poof, W. Yep. D- uh, the the doctor has to do some David Byrne convincing on on the husband. This is not your beautiful house. This is not, not your beautiful, beautiful life. life. And, and oh, uh, dude, go. <laughs> uh, I, I thought it was well done. He was like, um, not Grandpa. I was like, yo, you wouldn't tell me to not go rescue Yaz. Yeah, or yeah. Uh, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Ryan. like that. That yeah, that 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 was good. That was that was predictable, but it was well executed. Well done. Well done. And I was yeah. like, okay, I can buy that. Okay, you go. And who was left? Oh, the, uh, the doctor. The, the doctor it's and like, the dad. The doctor and the dad. Oh yeah. Because for whatever, whatever, uh, Solo Flex, uh, Solid Track had a big thing for the dad, and it's like, no, dad's mine. And yeah. the doctor had to convince it otherwise. Yeah, you, you 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 want one man? I got an entire universe. We can hang out and reminisce and It really was yeah. kind of one of those things. It's like uh Matt Smith, remember when he's like uh remember the leaf and talking to the skull planet? He's like, take yeah. all of my pain, my memories and Right. It was um, horribly embarrassing doing that in front of a skull planet, you know, but gas is gas, even time lords. This is a thing. Don't worry about it. It it absolutely is. But uh we we uh we uh uh, what do you call Daddy? Daddy, Daddy gets fucking hadoukened out through the mirror, and his Slayer shirt is back to normal. You noticed that too, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like okay, but that didn't happen with anything else. Okay. Nope. No. Not a no. single goatee. What, what? 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 One Slayer Dude. visual gag. That was it. Dude. All right. Uh, you know they had to make that T-shirt too. I mean, somebody put work into that, man. Right. I get yeah. like a visual cue. Okay, I get it. Whatever. Um, okay. So we're stuck. The doctor's there. She's peacing out. She's like, okay, I'm just going to hang out. I mean, that was her plan. She's like, F it, man. I'll just hang out. You let everyone go. She doesn't check on anybody knowing that there's flashlights on the other side of that mirror. This this is this is true. But, you know, if, if, if a blind girl can navigate it and with, without any issues, I'm sure they're actually fine. Possibly. Well, it looks like they're making their way. Whatever. And she's going to be chilling out with the um, solo... Track. Sol- solid, solid track, yeah. So we 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 get a lovely little scene of J.J. Abrams presents Stanley Kubrick presents oh, Doctor Who. Man, she's like, "Game's over. You don't have to do the simulation." And I was like, "There should be a warning because, like, if you're ever watching the BBC or anything, like the next story may contain some flash photography." Motherfucker, you could be like, next next scene, you might want to like look away from your fucking monitor because guess what? You're sitting in a dark room. Like that burned, man. I was like, ah. But listen, man, you, you just got to realize that the beacons have been lit and Gondor calls for aid. Gondor called for fucking aid indeed. Right. Um, but but we, we finally we finally get to see the Sol track in its truest form. <laughs> it was like it, it, it was it was a frog. It was the talking frog that grandma liked so much. And I'm like, man, if you can do that. I want the taco that shit's ice cream. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, the- man. The, the talking frog that was sitting on a chair was only second into stiff animatronic uh like really to that cat that was on that uh on witch Sabrina the teenage girl with, yes yeah. yes that yeah no that seriously can we can we take a minute to like appreciate that god-awful fucking puppet <laughs> it's like that's it not was, cgi that's bad bad practical that's like burp, burp, yeah burp, burp, burp. and and they, and they linger on it too mm-hmm. they're just like <laughs> it's like they were they were either proud of it or they knew it was such absolute no they Cock. They they they, 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 did, they did that on purpose. They're yeah. just like, no, sit here and look at this shit. Yeah, we're the cat. We have our captive audience. Hypnotoad. Uh, that would have been better. Yeah, I I, I could yep. see that. 
Yeah, but uh, the the doctor doesn't learn, uh, work too well in the solid track conscious reality thing. It's good, no and she's like, she's, she's like solid track. We 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 can just be friends. Oh, she, she, she try, dude, man. Uh, she she was like being a big. T- she's like, you gotta let me go, man. I mean, I, I know we've really made a connection in this past twelve to possibly thirteen seconds, and we're BFFs. But I got a piece out, or the world's gonna blow up. And I'm like. Girl, you know you're never gonna call a solid track. You're not gonna do it. This is, this is one of those big old booty hug calls. You, you're gonna peace out through that mirror. Solid track's never gonna hear from you again, man. Man, I just just be honest about it. That's too, how the right? doctor rolls. Yeah, and of course, every we, we get the dramatic. Oh no, is everyone gonna make? It? Of course, everyone's gonna freaking make it. There's oh, no. Oh yeah, there's they're, no, they're there, trying there's... to peace out through the anti zone, and here comes the doctor plowing. <laughs> to the other side of the mirror and then it's like oh she gets seven years of bad luck she busts up the mirror yeah i don't know I, I, I don't know oh all oh, right that happened but right at the end of the episode not grandpa gets a promotion well but before that we before that we get another call out to the fucking doctor pining for the fjords um the sheep the sheep went away apparently you know i was hoping the sheep was gonna be the bad guy the entire time like this is this is when the, this is when fucking sheep law gets enacted, dude. We, New we, Zealand we takes have, over the world. Come on, we we've spent nine episodes way overthinking the writing staff of Doctor Who so far. Right. Yeah. But yeah. But you're you're right. Uh, Gra- Graham and Ryan have a bit of a heart to heart, and he's like, "I love you, Granddad." It's like it's not Grandpa. Damn it! Don't you watch Game of Who? Um, you gotta get a plus one on that. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll call him Grandpa from now on. Ha! I'll, I'll still not remember Graham's name. Mm-hmm. Gra- Grandpa. I still want to. I, I want to know about the sheep, though, man. So, so, do, so do I, man. Like, like I said, I'm convinced the sheep's the the uh, big baddie. Did, I did, I did, ca- I did catch the preview for uh, the next week's episode. Uh huh. Well, and... I, I got, I got some thoughts on it, man. Before you hit me with that. Uh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Because, okay, one thing, did we miss, did we get a throwaway line about, hey, here's the one thing I did with this historical person that one time we were out drinking in a chainsaw or something? I didn't... I don't think we got one this week. Didn't get one this week, huh? It's been pr- yeah. pretty spot on, all right. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, they, they fasted in different spots of the episode, but I think they, they skipped out on that this week. There was... Yeah, yeah. I mean, coming up with flesh moths, man, I mean, you, you, you gotta take away from other parts of the writing. Flesh mobs and fucking lonely mirror universes you want booty calls. That are also frogs. <laughs> they, they can they can be anything you desire. Frogs in white rooms. That famous Beatles song. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. I, so, I, I, thought, I thought that was I thought that was Moody Blues. No. Frogs in white right. rooms. No, uh, Moody Blues clearly stole it from the Beatles. <laughs> right. Right. I'm thinking. Uh, Next week, I know the name, you know, the Battle of Rax Kor, or Rank Kor, of Akulos, yep. of Kulos. Uh, it, hopefully, please, Flying Spaghetti Monster, give me this one, is going to be a wraparound, and we're going to finally touch on the Timeless Child from episode dos. I'm thinking maybe we're going back to Toofy Boys. That would, that would be my guess. You know what? That, that's fine, as long as they bring their friend Fucking information on Timeless Child. Their their best friend, BFF. <laughs> BFFs. No, no, man. That, that that's like one of a dozen fucking throwaway lines. You, that would have been, you, you, that you, been you, better you stories. The toothy guys and a tsunami of sentient flying scarfs that know all this shit about the Timeless Child. Then I'm I'm like, okay. <laughs> Tell me about the time child. Tra- Turns out it's fucking Cartman. Sea mm. otters, man. Sea otters. Sea otters. Oh boy. Okay, so quick thoughts uh, before we wrap this up, put a bow on it. I liked it. I liked it better. Uh, what was last week? Boring, uh, unforgettable. Um, last unmemorable. week was the uh, the witchy episode. The witchy. What happened? Um, with 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 the roots. Oh, and, and, and the, the medieval. Dunking. Yeah, the medieval yeah. Uh, without the robots. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not doing that for effect anymore. Oh, I genuinely like that. Eh, it was yeah. a show. I so this, so so. Uh, go on. This one I'm going to remember just because of a uh, uh, there's there's a frog in a white room with black curtains, but there's no uh, black near, by by the station. Yes. Away <laughs> this bl- yeah, we're, we're we're all about that late sixties, early seventies, <laughs> freaking heavy rock. Now, um, here here's the thing that I that uh, occurred to me was like I said earlier, there's not really an antagonist to this episode, mm-hmm. and I think that worked in this their favor. If we've looked at the antagonists from like the previous episode where we got 
a space Nazi, an evil corporate guy. Racism. Um, yeah, inst institutional racism, religious based racism, right? Like that. Ha that's it's been fairly ill handled, I think. Here, where it the it's the the conflict is more like unraveling the mystery and having like a very minimal pressure adventure. I think worked um, in this writing staff's favor. Right. On. Um. Yeah they they re they really need to figure out a, a good way to do more actiony plots because. They, they just can't. They've not been able to pull them off. That's what I'm saying, so man. They need to do what they've done to Star Trek and turn it into an action series. Listen, listen, everyone, everyone, including Graham and Ryan, needs big old titties. Give them, fa give them fake boobs and high heels, and then make make sexy Daleks. That that will that will sell your product. Sexy Daleks, I could go for. Sexy Daleks. Okay, that's gonna do it. We'll be back next week. What do we got? Two more episodes. Uh, Nine, yeah, 10, uh, no, uh, uh well, we got one more regular well, episode, right? We, we got one more, one more regular and episode, then and then New we got Year's the uh, New Year's. Yeah, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, same who time, same who channel. We're gonna try to survive until then. Bye bye. Think of showing up. Bye.